Hey guys, it's Ayaz Nodamata here, and today is an interesting day. Um, if you haven't heard already, this morning sometime, uh, Mark Laidlaw, the uh, pretty much lead writer of uh, the whole Half-Life series, released uh, what is essentially the plot of Half-Life 2 Episode 3 on his blog. The first version he released was uh, kind of encrypted using, you know, uh, various replacement words, but there is now another version that actually has all the names and stuff properly. Um, and yeah, it's the plot to Half-Life 3. Now, it is never explicitly said in the, uh, the, 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 the post at all explicitly what this means, but it is heavily implied, particularly the last paragraph, that Essentially, the Half-Life series is over, and at the very least, perhaps Mark Laidlaw is no longer a part of it, or something. Now, I wish I could be more clear with you, but that's the ultimate thing about this damn fucking post, is that it's very... there's nothing just spelled out to us, you know? And although I don't believe everything needs to be, with something like this, I really do... Essentially, it seems very much like that this is the end of Half-Life. That they have finally cancelled Half-Life 2 Episode 3. And that it's not going to happen. I mean, what, like, what else can this mean, right? And maybe you'd be a fool for not believing in it, but maybe I'm just in denial or something like that. The thing is with, with me is that I, although I do, you know make primarily TF2 content, I am a Valve lover, you know. My first videos are all Half-Life related, you know, and the only reason I don't make any anymore is because there's nothing to talk about. Um, but now there is something, and uh, so I'm making this video today. I read the, uh, the post, I'd say about two hours ago now or something, and I wanted to make an immediate jerk, knee-jerk reaction, but no, I decided to leave it for a little bit, go for a walk, clear my head, and really try and get my thoughts out there, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, with the lack of information combined with just the fact that this was completely dropped on us, I'm speechless. For one of the first times in my life, I'm completely speechless. I just want to know more, you know, what does this mean? You know, like I said, it's very easy to jump to conclusions, and perhaps those conclusions are, you know, well found and, and, and like, reasonable. But, you know, there's a part of me that still wants to believe that this will still be made. That Half-Life 3 or Half-Life 2 Episode 3 is still a thing. Now, I should also mention really quickly that this video <laughs> is not going to be anything good. There's not going to be any editing or anything like that. I'm, I'm balls deep in the middle of like three other videos right now. And my goodness, I cannot believe that this came out today of all things. Like, I am... Like, I cannot handle this right now because I, I'm, I'm preparing as many videos as I can because I'm going to be leaving uh, in a couple days for, like, to, to Darwin for a few weeks. Um, so I don't even know if I'm going to have access to a computer. But anyway, um, so that's why this video is all crappy. But I just, I really wanted to put my thoughts out there on this situation, just throwing my two cents. I'm expecting... Or rather hoping that there'll be some follow-up information on this. An official, actual statement regarding the post. But I don't know. If you, wanna, if you want me to tell you my thoughts, which is probably why I clicked on the video, because it says it in the title. I think that it is very possible that this is Mark Laylaw, or Laidlaw, sorry. Kind of just saying, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going to tell the fans what they want to hear. Or I'm just going to tell them what we, what's going on, to a certain extent. I just People want to know that we've been waiting for so many fucking years. I don't even know how many now. And we just want it to be done. Sorry, my phone's buzzing. We just want to know. And so he did it. <clears throat> I think that it must have been the fact that it's Valve's like 21st anniversary, like today or yesterday... That he was just like, is we've waited long enough. That's my theory, at least. And they're just like, this is it. But like I said, <clears throat> I can't accept it myself as the like the end of Half Life, the official 
cancellation of the series until I hear it in words. <laughs> you know, until I hear someone say explicitly, this is the end of Half-Life. I can't do it, man. Maybe I'm just an optimistic person or maybe I'm completely in denial, but I, I really can't accept it, you know. So that's my f thoughts on just the post itself, or the post, you know, the, the, the implications, I suppose. But I thought I would also throw in my thoughts on the actual plot that was released to us. Now, if you don't want to read it, or you do want to read it, I will have a link in the description. Um, I read it because I felt an obligation to, honestly. And, uh, yeah, so if you don't want to hear it, then just stop watching. I don't know how spoilery I'll go into, but, yeah. So... I'm going to tell you what I think of this, of the plot, and I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I really liked it. I really, I truly did, you know. I, I get the feeling, I haven't read what other people have talked about, said too much about it, but I get the feeling that people will think that it's not crazy enough or wild enough for them or something. Although it is pretty wild and crazy um, in terms of like, we were waiting so many years and we get this. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're just getting a blog post, I can understand it, but... I think that actually it's, it's almost perfect. And I say perfect because it feels like a Valve game. It feels like the game, you know? I, as I was reading it, I was picturing myself actually playing the game, you know, the way that it's described and like the events that go on, like I can see them happening in game. Playing as Gordon Freeman and having these, the you know, the cutscenes that, that that happen in real time, you know, with the game and just all that kind of stuff. And at the end, everything goes like the plot goes like really crazy and out there. But at the same time, I think it's like on par with the end of Portal Two, which I fucking love. If you don't know, I, like, Portal 2 is, like, one of my favorite games of all fucking time. In fact, so is Half-Life 2. And so is Team Fortress 2. <laughs> I'm a passionate man about Valve games. And that's why I really wanted to make this video. But, yeah, in, in terms of, like, what I think of the plot, I, I really did like it. I'm a bit pissed off that it sort of ends on, like, another cliffhanger in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's like... I am really glad that we got to see this. But at the same time, I don't know what it means. Like I said, my thoughts are so unbelievably scrambled. But I don't know if they'll be unscrambled. Like, that's the thing is, I hope that they're going to post an official statement. But the Valve! No one knows what the fuck Valve is going to do. No one expected this to happen, first off. No one expects anything from Valve. Valve just does its own thing. It's, it's baffling to me. I, I'll admit, like, I don't know what Valve is doing. You know, it's like, this year's been a heck of a time for them, at least. All with Artifact and everything, and the constant anticipation of the power update. Um, I mean, like, what are you doing, Valve? Like, what's going on? Hmm. Yeah. But it's so fascinating to me. Like, I, I was able to throw myself back. It felt to me as if I was replaying... Half-Life and Portal and like It felt like a Valve game. It really did. To me personally, when I was reading it, I felt like this was real. Like, you know, and I know it's like you know, it's real, but at the same time, you know, like I want to play it still, you know. Even though I know the whole game, like the whole plot, I would love to play it still. And I think everyone would agree, I suppose, but like yeah. I've been reading some comments and stuff of people saying, like, well, we have the plot, you know, let's fucking make it, you know, hand it over to the fans, and, like, I kind of agree. I think, uh, one of the creators of The End is Nigh actually posted, he was saying, maybe in, like, 20 years or something we'll get a Half-Life Mania where the fans create the, the game that we always wanted, and I think <laughs> that'll be hilarious, and also fantastic. Oh, boy. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Sorry if this video sucks dick, by the way. I just really wanted to just... My random scrambled thoughts. There's no editing or anything like that. I, you see that I played a little bit of Half-Life 2 to get the footage in. And I'm honestly thinking I might just go through the whole game again. I'm thinking, at the very least, this... You've got my initial reaction video right now. And I think I'll make at least one more. If there's more information that I feel like I'd like to talk about, I'll make a video on that too. But at the very least, I'd like to make one more video just kind of summarizing the whole 
Half-Life thing in. I think that I might make like a, a tribute video. If this is truly the end of Half-Life, I want to make a tribute video. I don't know how or what it's going to be about. All I know is that I, I do want to really show my appreciation for this fucking amazing series. I mean, I can go into more details about like what this series means to me. I mean, like it's one of the first fucking first person shooters I ever fucking played. You know, I was still like early high school when it came out or when I started playing at least for the first time. You know, and then and, and it was my first ever Let's Play series on this channel and the G-Man Theory video, which is my most popular video of all time. I owe a lot to Half-Life, I really do. But I'll save these for the for the, for the the other video, those little comments and stuff. But, you know, just tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I really want to know what other people think of it. Because I think at this moment in time, everyone's fucking scattered. You know, in the next 24 hours, I'm sure things will come together. And I'll, I'm expecting to see fucking posts everywhere about it, like memes and stuff. But, you know, just for the time being, you know, just, just tell me your thoughts. Try and think as level-headedly as possible. What do you think this is? Like, what do you think will happen now, if anything? I don't know. What does Half-Life mean to you? I think I'll leave you in the, uh, the video description um, a link to my favorite Half-Life 2 video of all time. A video that I like to come back to every now and then, and uh, I think I'll be revisiting it quite a few times today. Hmm. Anyway. I have been Ayas Notomato. This has been Half-Life. And I will see you guys next time, where I will be posting probably these videos that I'm making right now. I'm, I'm working uh, all day, or well, I mean, I've been working last week on this, uh, this big, my next big TF2 video, so expect that next week. So, yes, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.